Twitter is the problem. I think people are concerned about TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, uh, I think people are obviously watching. Oh, he does not like TikTok, folks. You know why? Because everybody is seeing through his lies. And I hate TikTok for all sorts of reasons. And Let's be clear. They hate TikTok for one very specific reason. They can't run millions and millions of dollars of disinformation political ads on, it, on TikTok. They can't bully um, the TikTok uh, board of directors to change the algorithm in their favor, like they did with Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg. They don't have access to the personal data that would allow them to manipulate depressed um, and grieving people into believing their disinformation like they did with Cambridge Analytica and Facebook. They hate TikTok because this is our steadfast. Their whole strategy was always go super far right so you push everyone in that direction even a little bit. They can't do that here so they want to kill it. I fiercely oppose banning TikTok, not because I'm on TikTok, but because it is ridiculous for the American government to say, we're going to ban our employees from using TikTok because we think it's a security issue. Baloney, the biggest spires on Americans, the American government, the federal government, the NSA and its 60,000 spies, Every single keystroke on this is captured by the NSA and the CIA can get it when they want it and the FBI can get it when they want it. So Senator Josh Hawley, supposedly conservative Republican from Missouri and defender of the Constitution, who are you to push this legislation and say TikTok is dangerous because it's spying on Americans? When every year you and your Republican colleagues and your buddies in the Democratic Party as well, both parties do this, some progressives oppose it and some libertarians oppose it, but mainstream and elitists in both parties favor all this spying. How can you say TikTok is banned, but not the NSA? Try banning the NSA from government computers and see what happens there. I think TikTok is a great instrument and a great tool for communication, some of it frivolous, most of it entertaining, some of it more serious like mine. Although I've seen people do duets with me, you know, where they'll show me on their mobile device and then themselves on their mobile device and just go back and forth and back and forth. I think it's hilarious. And I encourage all my TikTok subscribers and friends in the government and not in the government to do so while you still can. P.S. Some state governments are trying to ban TikTok altogether. They won't get the first base. Why? Because the First Amendment says Congress shall make no law prohibiting the freedom of speech. Today, that means no government shall make any law interfering with the freedom of speech. As long as the Supreme Court understands the First Amendment to mean that, the rest of us don't have to worry about TikTok being banned. But the military and civilian employees of the federal government, you got a bad boss. You got to worry about how he treats your freedom of speech. So I have a friend who recently became a pilot for a commercial airline, and he keeps telling me that the earth is flat, and when you're a pilot, the, you know these things. Uh, tell me to look up things like airplane paths, like the actual route that they take. Instead of taking something that kind of makes sense, they'll take these paths that make no sense uh, for a globe earth, but... For the flat Earth, they make perfect sense. All right, let's check out this globe. On the bottom of this globe, it has a sticker. It says, Globes are not meant for educational purpose, but only decorative purpose. Why the hell would it say that? Hey, tick tock. All right, guys, this one's almost too fucking good to be true. So I had to double check. And believe it or not, Scientists discovered that Earth Star Trek style invisible shield surrounds our globular Earth. It's almost like these electrons are running into a glass wall in space. Interesting! We just don't get hit by meteorites because there actually is a fucking dome. Now, flat earthers, you've been right, right? High pressure next to low pressure. Without a physical barrier, it's impossible. There is! It's actually a invisible meteorite deflecting shield has nothing to do with flat earth though at all we promise don't look into it dude seriously trust me 
holding a compass flat on a flat surface will give you a accurate reading of the Earth's pole. But if everyone around the Earth laid their compass flat, the compass would point out into space. It wouldn't point north because it would be pointing towards the ground if so. Simply because there's the North Pole, here's their compass, the compass would be pointing that way. And as you can see here with common sense, you hold a compass flat on the flat earth theory. Without question, a compass would point straight ahead. Especially because a compass needs to be put on a flat surface to be read correctly. Welcome back to the trumpet. Does the Bible tell you exactly where the devil lives? It sure does. Revelations chapter 2, verse 13. And I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's throne is. And thou keepest my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days when Antipas, my faithful martyr, was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. All we got to do is go back to the history books and find out where they killed Herod Antipas. It says that he was martyred during the reign of Nero, burning in a brazen bull-shaped altar at the Apollyon Temple in Geneva, Switzerland. That's where the particle physics lab is for CERN. So you would think that it's going to have a 666 somewhere on the door too, right? <laughs> you can go to their website at CERN and you can see the three sixes right there and in the corner logo over there, they're just sort of twisted. You can see the sixes, there's one, there's two, and then there's three. Revelations 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath wit count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Ah, the World Health Organization, also in Geneva. They have a snake in a flat earth logo. <laughs> and the United Nations main building is in Geneva, Switzerland. They too have a flat earth logo. The UN also has another office. It's the highest one they have. I guess I'm supposed to thank you for showing me something. The reason I even engaged with you was because I could see that you were a man of the Bible. Even though I tagged you in a video showing you my Bible with the rendition of the flat earth in Genesis, you told me that the firmament and the four corners of the earth references were not good enough proof in the Bible that we don't live on a spinning ball, so I chose this one. And we also have to ignore all of our ancestors' depiction of the Earth so that we can believe this one. The heliocentric model is absolutely to disprove God. They want you to believe that we are one of a septillion planets moving through an infinite space that mean absolutely nothing. And it was all created from an explosion in a vacuum and had nothing to do with God. But since you chose boats to prove me wrong, let's go with it. Did you know that the Navy has lasers that can reach a target a hundred miles away? Well, if you know anything about the curvature of the Earth, that means that laser has to bend 6,668 feet. Man, you find that 666 in a lot of equations from NASA. At any rate, lasers don't bend, so it doesn't work. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit from the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold.
sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let it not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Hey, what's up, guys? I've been avoiding this topic for a long time. I used to be real big on it, and I chose to stray away from it, but I have to put it out there because the truth is the truth. I am a flat earther. My theology on the ge geography of the earth is a mixture between flat earth and hollow earth because the Bible makes it extremely clear hell is inside the earth. Period. I don't care whether you have a PhD or not, the Greek and the Hebrew is extremely clear. Why does this matter? People say it's not a salvational issue. Actually, that's a lie. It is a salvational issue. Here's why. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says, If you don't love the truth about God and His truth, God will send a strong delusion upon you. It's not just the truth about salvation. It's not just the truth about Jesus. It's the truth about who God is and what He said He did. God said He created an earth that doesn't move. It doesn't spin. It doesn't rotate. It's not being thrust through a universe at certain miles per hour. No. God said that the earth is all that there is. And the heavens are above it. And those heavens don't include other planets where there's other alien life. We are the apple of God's eye, according to scripture. When you don't believe that, what happens is there are pockets in your mind that should be reserved for the truth of God, but because you don't believe God about the geography of the earth, other satanic lies can now enter into your mind and build strongholds that will prevent you from embracing other truths of God. And that starts a cycle of disbelief and doubt in what God said clearly in the scriptures. There are 242 verses exactly in the Bible that says that it's flat earth. You can beat around the bush. You can lean towards pseudoscience all day long. But it's going to lead you away from the truth of God in His Word. Guys, Genesis chapter 1. The very first definition of the firmament is a hard dome like brass beaten out with a metal hammer. Operation Fishbowl, anybody? It's a hard dome. Antarctic Treaty, anybody? It's actually really, really simple. Uh, the circumference of the Earth in nautical miles is 21,600. That's six times six times 600. The curvature rate of the Earth, according to them, is eight inches per mile squared. That's 0.666 feet per mile squared. We're supposedly going around the sun 66,600 miles per hour. The diameter of the moon is six times six times 60, 2,160. Do you think that all those 666s six, six, are a coincidence or maybe is this a trick from the enemy that lied about creation and tried to make the scriptures look like they're not true? 